Hi everyone, I'm Jenna. Today we are going to be doing yoga for spring. We're going to start in a simple cross-legged pose. Get comfortable on your mat. You can bring the shoulders up by the ear and down the back. You can close the eyes or do a soft eye by looking at the ground. Can bring your hands to the heart center in prayer. As you inhale, you can bring your hands up along the midline and towards the top of your body. And as you begin your exhale, bring your arms out around your body. Doing this through the cycle of your own breath, inhaling up the midline, exhaling down and around the body, doing sun breaths here. Waking up the body slowly today as spring slowly wakes up. Switching directions, inhaling up around the body, exhaling down along the midline. Centering for practice. Getting that breath all the way down to our bellies. Through our side ribs and up into our chest. Hands can come back to center. We're going to turn on our mats to prepare to roll down. Bending our knees, coming out in front of us. Hands could be in front of or behind the knees. Inhaling, looking up. And exhaling, tucking the chin to the chest and rolling down. Once you get there, you can give your knees a squeeze. We're going to cross the right ankle over the left. Hands on the knees or by your sides. And we're going to do clockwise knee circles. Switching the cross of the ankle, switching the direction of the circles. So massaging out our low back, warming it up a little bit for our practice today. Undoing the cross of the ankles, doing individual knee circles, bringing them away from each other and back together. Your arms are going to be kind of like they're rowing a boat. Switching directions, doing the opposite of whichever direction you were just doing. And bringing the knees back to center, we're going to drop the left foot to the floor, keep the right knee in towards the chest, angling the right knee out towards the armpit, reaching through to the thigh, ankle, foot or toe, and lifting that foot up into the air for stirrup pose on the right, rocking out any tension in that right leg.
Bringing that foot down and crossing the right ankle over top of the left thigh, opening up that right hip, reaching through however is comfortable, either behind or in front of that left thigh, and bringing the left leg in towards the chest. Keeping that right hip open and feeling that stretch in the back of the right leg. Releasing the left foot to the floor, kicking that right heel up towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch in the back of the leg, taking a deep inhale. And on the exhale, beginning to release that right ankle to the floor, very slowly feeling the entire length of our leg here, that energy out of the heel. Once that foot reaches the floor, you're going to bend the knee again, bring that foot back to the ground. We're going to bring the left knee in towards the chest this time. Give it a squeeze, angling that knee out towards the armpit, reaching through to the shin, ankle, foot, or toe, and lifting that foot up into the air. Rocking out any tension or stirrup pose on the left. crossing the left ankle over top of the right thigh, opening up that left hip and reaching through the legs or over the leg to bring that right thigh in towards the chest, keeping that left hip open and feeling stretch in the back of our left thigh. Releasing that right foot to the floor, kicking that left heel up towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch in the back of our leg, taking a deep inhale. And on the exhale, begin to release that foot to the floor, feeling the whole length of the leg as you release it. Once that foot reaches the floor, you're going to come to roll over onto your stomach in any way that's comfortable for you. Stacking the palms and resting the forehead on them for crocodile pose. Feeling that connection to the ground here, the earth. 
As we enter spring, the earth will be waking up. We can feel its energy as we connect to the ground here. Taking a cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose, sighing out the mouth. Bring the right leg up to hip height, bring the left arm out to shoulder height, bending each at a 90 degree angle. Breathing into the shoulder, breathing into the hip. Bring the leg back in, bring the arm back in. Taking another cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose, sighing out the mouth. Bring the left leg out to hip height, bring the right arm out to shoulder height, bending both at a 90 degree angle. Bring the leg and the arm back in, taking another cleansing breath. Releasing any energy that doesn't serve us as we enter this new season. Feeling another moment to connect to the energy of the earth here. Grounding. Bring both of our arms down to our sides, palms facing down in towards our body. You can rest your forehead on the mat. Taking an inhale. And on the exhale, raising the arms, shoulders, legs up for locust pose, remembering to breathe. And releasing back down. Taking another breath here. Inhaling. And on the exhale again, raising the shoulders, head, hands, and legs for locust pose and releasing back down, taking another breath. And one more time, inhaling. And on the exhale, raising the legs, arms, shoulders and head up for locust pose and releasing back down. We're gonna bring our elbows underneath our shoulders, coming up on them. Forearms are out in front of us, hands are nice, spread wide for sphinx, shoulders come down our back, our gaze can be at a 45 degree angle in front of the map. We're going to come to adjust so that our body can be supported on our right elbow. We're going to take our chin into our right palm, supporting the back of the head with the left hand, taking an inhale. And then the exhale, slightly turning the head to the right.
turning the head back to center, adjusting so the body supported on the left elbow. Chin can rest in the left palm, supporting the back of the head with the right hand, inhaling. And on the exhale, turning the head slightly to the left. Turning the head back to center, returning to swing, coming up on our elbows, forearms in front of us, spreading our palms wide, we're going to root into our palms and push up into them, letting the shoulders come down the back, spine fall down the back, and releasing back down to sphinx, we're going to adjust so the hands are underneath the shoulders and press ourselves back to child pose, hips coming towards the ankles, spreading those knees as wide as we need them. Arms coming out in front of us and forehead coming to the mat. Remembering that part of yoga is about honoring ourselves. And if you need to take a rest at any point in our practice day, feel free to come back to this pose. Taking the right arm and threading it underneath the left arm, shoulder and head coming to the mat. Releasing the right arm, coming back into child pose. Taking the left arm, threading it underneath the right, shoulder and head coming to the mat. Releasing the arm, returning to child's pose. And coming up, coming up into table pose. Knees are underneath the hips, hands are underneath the shoulders. Back is nice and straight. We're going to do some table rounds. So we're going to release the hips down to the ankles. Come up around the left side, through the shoulders, and down around the right side. Doing this at your own pace. Switching directions, up the right side, down the left. Up 
coming back to center, making sure our hands and knees are in the correct place underneath the hips and underneath the shoulders. We're going to do a cat and cow. So you're going to drop the belly, look up for cat or cow, and then round the spine, look through the legs for cat. Doing this at the pace of your own breath. So inhaling, looking up, exhaling, rounding. Getting some movement in our backs here. We're going to tuck the toes under and press ourselves back to down dog. Hips coming up towards the sky. Making that upside down V shape. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Head is in between the hands. Shoulders come down the back. Walking off those feet a little bit. Getting that stretch. Raising the right leg up into the air behind us for three-legged dog. We can bend the knee and open up that hip, letting the leg fall open. And then we're going to bring the foot through the hand, stepping forward into low lunge, giving your leg a boost if it doesn't make it there. And we can drop that locked knee to the mat. Coming up on the knee, getting ourselves situated and steady here. Remember, we only want the knee bent so far over the ankle, never farther than the ankle. You can stay here or you can inhale your arms up above your head, settling into that left hip for crescent lunge. Bring the arms down. We're going to locate our block or whatever we're using as a block, whether it be a hard box, something else that is cheap like a block. And we're going to straighten that front leg, either flexing the foot or having the foot on the mat. We're going to take our block, if our leg can't straighten, and place it behind the shin, holding onto it. Block has three heights, reminder. Helping us balance here, settling into those hips. And if we're good here, either staying here or folding towards that leg. Or half monkey, Ardha Hanumanasana. Bending back into that knee. Again, making sure the knee is only over the ankle. We're going to bring our hands to the inside of the foot. And we're going to walk our foot out towards the outer edge of the mat, settling into that left hip for lizard pose. You can stay here. You can come down onto your block. You can come down onto the mat. And if you want even more of a stretch, you can roll onto the outside edge of that right foot for a winged dragon variation. 
If you want even more of a stretch, you can tuck the left toes, lift the knee and press the hips forward. Just going to your level today, wherever you're at. If you had your knee raised and hips pushed forward, push the hips back and drop the knee. If you're in wing dragon, put that foot back on the floor. If you're on your hands, walk your hands back up and slowly walk that foot back towards the midline. We're gonna bring the foot back underneath us for table and then tuck the toes, press our hips back up to down dog. Again, bending the knees as much as we need to, creating that upside down V shape. Noticing if one leg might feel a little bit more stretched out than the other. We're gonna raise that left leg into the air for a three-legged dog. And then we're going to step it through, giving it a boost if it doesn't get there, for a low lunge on the left. Dropping that right knee. Again, making sure our knee is only over our ankle. Walking ourselves up the knee. Getting ourselves situated, balanced here. Settling into that right hip. And if staying here, or if we want to, raising our arms for present lunge. Releasing our arms down. Again, getting our block if we need it. Straightening that front leg, either flexing the foot or having it on the mat. Cover allows you to keep that leg straight. Settling back into those hips. Taking our block if needed behind our leg. Staying here or leading with the heart center and folding towards that knee. For Ardha Hanumanasana on the left. Bending back into that left leg, bring the hands on the inside of the leg or on the foot, walking that foot out towards the outer edges of our mat, settling into that right hip. Again, using our options here, so either staying up like this on our hands, using our block and coming down on our elbows on the block, coming down on our elbows to the mat. Rolling on to the outside edge of that left foot for a wing dragon variation, or tucking the right toe, lifting the leg, and pushing the hip forward for even more of a stretch. Whatever you're comfortable with today.
If you had raised your knee and pushed your foot forward, bring your hands back, setting down the knee. If you're in wing dragon, bringing that foot back to the mat. If you're down your elbows, coming back up onto your hands. And then bring that foot back to the midline. We're going to bring our leg back underneath us for table. And then we're again, again going to tuck the toes and press our hips back for down dog. Feeling the evenness that created in our bodies. Walking the hands back towards the feet, using your block if your hands don't touch the ground at any of the three heights. If not, your hands can come to the ground for Utsanasana, standing forward, hold. Knees can be bent as much as they need to. to come up to the shins or on our block. Back is nice and straight. Shoulders come down the back. For Ardha Hanuman, Ardha Uttanasana, standing forward fold, half standing forward fold. And then we're going to bend the knees and raise our arms, looking up for a slight back bend for an upward salute. Hands coming down in front of heart center in prayer. We're going to come to stand in mountain pose. So our feet are going to be hips width distance apart. Legs are nice and engaged. We can pick up the toes, stand on all four corners of our feet. Legs are engaged. Tucking the tailbone under. Feel yourself stand a little bit taller. Shoulders up towards the ears and down the back. Hands can come out either direction. Chair is most comfortable for you. Gaze is forward. Strong and sturdy in our mountain. An unwavering mountain. Strong and sturdy. That's unchanged throughout the changing of the seasons. Still strong and sturdy no matter what. We're going to raise the arms above our head, grabbing onto the right wrist with the left hand, taking an inhale. And then the exhale, leaning over towards the left. Feeling that stretch in our right side body. Coming back to center, switching the hand you're holding on to, right hand on the left wrist, taking an inhale, and on the exhale, bending over towards the right. Coming back up the center, releasing the arms down. We're going to step the right foot forward. The feet are going to be staggered on the mat. The back left foot is going to be at a 45 degree angle. The right foot's going to be facing the same direction as us. We're going to bring the right hip back, left hip forward to align the hips with the short side of the mat. Bending into that right knee again, only so far over our ankle. Staying here or inhaling our arms above our head for warrior one. Here the dress no one.
Bring the arms down and grab our block so that it's adjusted in front of our foot for later. We're going to bring our hands behind us, interlocking them, releasing them down to open up the chest. You can inhale. And on the exhale, releasing the chest towards the right thigh. Releasing the hands down, using that block and straightening that front leg. If your hands don't touch the mat, come up on that block on the inside of that leg. Or if they don't touch the block, coming up on the thigh like this. Hips are still right hip back, left hip forward to align with the short side of the mat. Or if you can touch the ground, coming all the way down to the mat. Knee is nice and soft. Bending back into that knee, wherever you're at, if you're up here, bending back into that knee and adjusting our block again. So it's in front of us. We're going to place the hands on the block and we're going to slowly begin to drag that left foot up, transferring our weight to our right foot. So either staying here, knowing your own balance here. So staying here, you can raise that left leg into the air, flexing the foot. You can come off the block and come into an airplane variation, or you can bring the hands forward for the full pose. For warrior three, we are Vidrasana three on the right. Coming back down onto that block, releasing the left foot to the floor, coming back up into warrior one, that knee is bent, feet are staggered, left foot at a 45 degree angle, and releasing the arms down, stepping the feet together, shaking out the legs. We're going to come to the back of our mat again to prepare for the other side. We're going to step the left foot forward, feet are staggered, back foot's at a 45 degree angle, left foot's facing the front, left hip back, right hip forward, bending into the knee, only over our ankle. Staying here or inhaling your arms above your head for warrior one, bear dress for one on the left.
bring the hands down again, adjusting our block so that it's in front of us, ready for us to use. Bringing the hands minus and releasing them and releasing them down, opening up the chest, taking a breath here. Taking an inhale. And on the exhale, releasing the chest down towards the left thigh for Humble Warrior. Bring the hands down, again, using your block if you can't touch the ground, straightening that front leg, either coming up on your thigh, coming up on the block at any of the three heights, or releasing down to the ground for pyramid pose on the left. Bending back into that left knee wherever you're at and putting our hands on our block in front of our foot. We're going to drag that right foot up, transferring our weight to our left leg. Again, staying here, just going to your level, staying here or raising that right leg into the air. Foot is flexed. Staying here or coming into an airplane variation. Arms out to the sides, back nice and straight. Foot is flexed. Bring your hands forward for the full variation of the pose. Just going to your level for Bear Bedrasana 3, Warrior 3. Setting the right foot down, coming back onto the block. And bending into that knee, coming back into warrior one to transition. We're going to release the arms down. We're going to step that right foot back. I'm going to turn to face you all. You're like this. Stepping the right foot back. So we can come into a wide leg. We're going to turn the heels in, toes out, tucking the tailbone under, feeling ourselves stand taller, bringing the arms up to shoulder height, and then bending them at a 90 degree angle. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, bending into those knees, coming into goddess, adjusting your feet if needed. Back is like it's pushing up against an imaginary wall. Feeling nice and strong in our goddess pose, preparing for the next season. Embracing our own energy here. Coming back up to star and releasing the arms down. We're going to step the feet together, shake out the body a little bit, and we're going to prepare for our balance pose today. So our balance pose today is going to be tree. If you know you need to use the wall, feel free to go over to it. We're going to begin on the left side. So we're going to 
feel all four corners of our feet on the left side, slowly transferring our weight. We're going to find our dristy on the wall, our point to stare. That could be anything, it could even be something on the floor, anything that's not moving. We're going to come into kickstand on the right, bring the hands in prayer in front of the heart center. Staying here or coming up to your level, either on the shin or on the thigh, anywhere but the knee. If you feel okay here, you're going to grow your branches, relaxing the shoulders down, retrieve. Feeling strong in our tree pose, like a tree blossoming for the new season, the spring. Coming back to life from the dull winter. Bringing the hands back together down from the heart center, releasing that leg out, shaking out the legs a little bit. Setting up for the right side now. Coming to stand on the right foot, shifting our weight, coming into kickstand. Again, finding our dristy. Hands can come into prayer in front of the heart center. If you feel steady here, you can go up to your level, either on the shin or on the thigh, anywhere but the knee. And if you feel good here, you can grow your branches. Bringing the hands together and down in front of our center, releasing that leg out. Again, shaking it out. Coming to stand at the back of our mat. We're going to inhale, our hands up overhead, looking up, upward swoop, slight back bend. Leading with the heart center, folding Uttanasana, staying forward fold. Again, using our block at any of the three heights if needed. We're going to come high up on the toes, set them down, sit down on the bottom. Come to sit in any way that's comfortable. We're going to bring our feet together, knees out. You can sit up on your block if your hips are tight. Coming to your level, however is comfortable for you. You can put the block underneath one of your knees if it needs some support. Hands can come on the ankles, feet, or toes. Chest is lifted for Baddha Konasana bound ankle. We're going to slide the feet out slightly, leading with the heart center, folding over the legs. Slowly walking yourself back up. We're going to bring the legs out into a wide leg, just going to your level. Take an inhale. 
And on the exhale, leaving with the heart center, walking ourselves out again into a wide leg forward fold, coming to your level. Letting the breath guide us into this pose. Slowly walking yourself back up, bringing the legs together, feet are flexed, shoulders up by the ears and down the back, hands can rest by your hips or slightly behind you, whichever allows you to sit up straighter for Dandasana staff pose. Bending the right knee, bringing it in towards the chest, staying here or crossing that right foot over top the left leg, grabbing onto the right knee with the left hand, inhaling the right arm up and exhaling, twisting to the right. Coming back to center, we're going to drop that left right knee over to the side. The ankle is over top of the left thigh. We're going to inhale our arms up. And on the exhale, just a passive stretch toward that front leg. Slowly walking ourselves back up, releasing that right leg out, shaking off the legs a little bit. Returning to Dandasana. Bending that left knee in towards the chest, staying in here or crossing that left foot over top of the right leg. Grabbing onto the left knee with the right hand, inhaling the left arm up and exhaling, twisting to the left.
Coming back to center, dropping that left knee over, ankle is over the thigh, inhaling the arms up, and then exhaling a passive stretch, folding towards that front leg. Coming back up to center, releasing the arms down, releasing the legs, shaking them out. We're going to turn on our mats to roll down, making sure that block is going to be within arm's reach. Knees are bent, inhaling, looking up, exhaling, tucking the chin to the chest, and rolling down. Bring those knees in when you get there, giving them a squeeze, rocking back and forth a little bit. Angling both of those knees out towards the armpits and reaching through to the ankles, feet, or toes, lifting those feet into the air for happy baby, rocking back and forth. Do you feel like it? Bring the feet together, the knees together. We're going to drop the arms out to a T, taking an inhale. And on the exhale, releasing the knees over to the right. If that left shoulder lifts or if those knees don't make to the ground, you can put a block underneath the knees. If you want to increase the stretch, you can bring the right hand to the left knee and look to the left. Bring the head back to center, bring the knees back to center. Take another inhale and exhaling, releasing the knees over to the left. Again, using that block underneath them if the right shoulder lifts or if the knees don't make it. Increasing the stretch by bringing the left hand to the right knee and looking to the right. Bring the head back to center, bring the knees back to center. We're going to release the feet down to the mat. Bring the feet together, the knees out, pushing those thighs away, 
hands can rest on a low belly or bring them up to a T and bending at a 90 degree angle for reclined goddess. Reversing the legs, bringing the knees together and walking the feet out towards the outer edge of the mat, neutralizing the spine. Hands can rest alongside you or on the low belly. Staying here, going back to the last pose, releasing the arms and legs out to full corpse pose, preparing for our final rest. Beginning to go inward to focus on the breath if you want. These are the rise and fall of the belly of the chest. The inhales and exhales. The cool air hitting your throat, the warm air as you exhale. Acknowledging any thoughts you may have, but letting them float away right now. We do not need them. This is your time. I will call you back when it is time.
and beginning to return to your body. Feeling the air on your skin, the floor beneath you. You can begin to make some small movements, wiggling your toes, your fingers, your feet and hands, your arms and legs. When you feel ready, you can roll over on to the right side, pause there, open your eyes, and when you feel ready, you can return to seated position. Once you get there, we're going to take one final breath together, inhaling your arms up above, and then coming down and pray for the heart center. Expressing gratitude towards yourself for taking the time to practice today and expressing gratitude towards those who shared the space with us. I'm going to leave you with a poem. Perennial beginnings, petals open like promises, morning dew evaporates like a dream, swallows glide in the sky, halfway through flight, returning to their old trees. The air gets wind of change, and with a gentle breeze, all that remains of winter are sprinkles of rain. In its subtle ways, the earth confirms the desire to shed and begin anew, as natural as the turn of the seasons, the perennial promise of renewal. By A.L. Peck. Wishing you a happy and healthy spring. Namaste.